since there's eight million people in this city, if you're not getting laid, you're a fucking asshole. It's not like I forgot how to get pussy just because I fucking became homeless. I like your shorts. Thank you. You're fucking count. Hold on, hey. Hi, I'm not going to meet someone really. Hold on, hold on. What's your name? Erica. New York City's amazing. Like, it has eight million people in it, so you could like fuck a different girl like whenever you want. You're adorable. Like, I'm <laughs> definitely like trying to chill with you. There's got to be the one pickup line that works better than everything else you say. It's not really pickup lines. It's more like I see opportunities and I capitalize on them. I'm actually a little bit Czechoslovakian. That's kind of Russian. Dude, I'll go up to any random girl here, tell them I fucking love him and want to marry him just for general recreation purposes. I love you. You're fucking killing it. <laughs> yes. What usually like dictates how long like a girl will let you bunk up in her place? It's pretty much all depends on how good of the pipe I like. What? Yeah, dude, if I lay the good pipe, you know, I'm fucking usually in there for a few days. I was sleeping at this broad's house, and last night we just ate a shitload of Kalapins and were drinking, fucking eating lobster rolls like classy individuals. When you're not sleeping with a lady, though, where do you sleep? On the sidewalk, on cardboard, cardboard all-star. Joe's homeless and unlike any other homeless guy you've ever seen. A 26-year-old clean-cut millennial from Boston living on the streets of New York City. Where he makes 150 bucks a day panhandling. To sleep comfortably and stay clean, Joe picks up women three to four nights a week and goes home with them. After hearing his story, I decided I had to spend some time documenting his day-to-day -day activities. I do homelessness differently, you know what I'm saying? I might sleep on cardboard like two or three nights a week, but I literally wake up every single day and do whatever the fuck I want. Give me the, the, the daily Joe agenda. Daily Joe today. agenda. Okay, if I wake up with money in my pocket, I go get two, four locos. I'm talking five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. So yeah, so you're an early riser. Like if you're sleeping on the sidewalk, you have to wake up when the sun comes up or you get bitch at. My responsibility is to try and not look homeless. I go to CVS and I fucking take their hair gel. You know, they have the mirrors near the makeup yeah, section. And I fucking fix my hair. I grab a Red Bull and I walk out. How many outfits do you have? How many ensembles? I have four pretty good outfits. Four pretty good outfits? How many like bad outfits do you have? I have no bad outfits. What's going on, buddy? How you doing today? I just want the worst vodka possible. I'm mixing it with Gatorade, so it doesn't really matter what kind of vodka I play. I'm gonna go drink this right now and get belligerently shit-faced and go yell at people and fuck girls. Dude, once I get drunk, all bets are off. Like, psh, like anything, that mean? anything can happen once that happens. If I strike out on like a weekend night, right? It'll be like seven o'clock in the morning and like girls will go wake me up and they'll be like, Yo, you passed out on the sidewalk, you need to go home. I'm like, I fucking am home. I'm like, what, what yeah, home's, 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 home's on the other corner. I'm like, uh, home, home, home's, right, home's right there. I, but I didn't make it to that part of the sidewalk, so I'm over here. Joe became homeless after his mom found a stash of drugs in his bedroom and kicked him out of the house. According to Joe, he was only trying to make ends meet, but I guess it finally caught up with him. I don't even like to consider myself a bum. What do you consider yourself? I don't know. A gypsy. I try and maintain as much humanity as I can despite this fucking situation, you know? Have a great night. God bless you. That was me donating money to somebody to go get a hot dog. Don't do anything I want to do. You're right. Life's all about karma. Like, I figure I do the right thing, and then good shit, like the universe reciprocates. Stay up, buddy. So, yo, when you see, when you see a homeless person when you're walking, and they, it's a veteran, do you feel guilty doing what you're doing? Not at all. Not at all? Not even a little bit. Dude, there's enough money out here for everybody. If you're a type of person who inspires compassion, then people are going to give you money. The reason why people give me the amount of money they do is because they realize that they're just that fucking close to becoming homeless, you know what I'm saying? If I would just not do drugs and not drink for a week, I could go get a fucking like, house. But like, how could you be homeless and not do drugs and drink? Like, I feel like the misery would just fucking overwhelm you. What would, what would you tell the youth of America? Never become like me. Ever. Why? Why? This abstract lifestyle is not for everybody. And I'm pretty sure like if you look around you at the fucking hundreds of thousands of homeless people in New York City, I'm the only one that can really pull this shit off. Brett's been diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, so that was, that was when I found out the news. Are seizures that do not respond like this. Okay. Okay.